No such thing as too much speed, right? Infinity. We, we want infinite speed. No coach ever said, even stupid coaches, stupid, stubborn coaches have never said, that kid's a little bit too fast. <laughs> never been said, right? Uh, too much power negates speed. Have you ever seen this? We see that we saw this over COVID. We had some of my best sprinters who were football players because they had all this extra time and we couldn't practice. They went to a weight room and they lived like three hours a day. And every day, chains on. I mean, they posted pictures every day and tagged me. I'm like, triple lightning bolt, like idiots. <laughs> they came back when we finally resumed. All of them were one to two miles an hour slower. None of the, I think there's around eight of them. None of the eight ever returned to their original speed. Four of them didn't continue with track because of that. Did they sprint while they lifted or no. only lifted? Only lifted. I, I think that sprinting is a pretty good, uh, is a pretty good way to uh, counterbalance the negative effects of lifting. When I say negative effects of lifting to SNC people, they like burst into flames. They're like, what the hell is this, you know, blasphemy. Negative effects of lifting, champions are born in the weight room. We have a sign that says that. Actually, we have a sign that says that in our weight room. Champions are born in the weight room. No, they're not. No, if you, I call it artificial strength. Oh, that pisses them off too. Well, all strength is strength. No, it's not. You know, the, the guys, like, Supposedly, like Herschel Walker, God love him. Um, anyway, Herschel Walker was born kind of looking like Herschel Walker. I call that natural strength. Most NFL guys have natural strength. Their muscles are the proportion they need to be for their bones. I was not born like Herschel. As a sophomore start, I would have been a long story. As a sophomore varsity quarterback, I weighed 140 pounds, 6'1", 140. I was not Herschel. If I would have built my body to look like Herschel, would that have been functional? I, I don't think so. Clunky. Too much art, I, everybody should lift. I'm not saying not to lift. I'm saying that if you are trying to put on a pound of, a day and eating a jar of peanut butter every night, you know, that kind of, you're, you're not, it's probably going to be detrimental to speed. Speed amplifies power. I don't think there's any question. Big, strong, if you get faster, you're more powerful. Speed amplifies change of direction. If I'm supposed to go, if you teach a fast guy to do that, he'll be better at it than a slow guy. I'm not saying not to teach it. I'm just saying that it will amplify your change of direction. When people say, well, Jerry Rice only ran a 4.6. He ran a 4.6 one day of his life. He was playing a 4.4, and he ran a 4.6 one day of his life. True story, I, I, uh, I'm friends with Mahomes, trainer. Mahomes ran like a 4.8 high. 4.86. 4.86. My son's a numbers guy. Uh, 4.86. Bobby Stroop says he's a 4-4. If you watch him, does he look like a 4-8-6? No. He runs away from people. So what's up with that? Oh, A, he had a bad toe. B, uh, he was kind of unconventional in his quarterback skills. Imagine that. And so he was working with a quarterback guru that entire, he did not work on speed at all. So he went, to the combine around 486. And that will stick with him for the rest of his life. A snapshot of his speed on one day will stick with him. So Jerry Rice, oh, Jerry Rice wasn't fast and he's the best receiver. Why would anybody argue that speed's not important? Isn't that weird? But I've had that argument. I still think Jerry Rice is fast. 
Ooh, Boo Shester said the strongest are seldom the fastest. The best quotes are like, beautiful. The strongest are seldom the fastest. You can walk in a weight room. You could probably pick out the strongest without seeing them lift. Think about that. They have a look. Do you want him on your four by one team? Probably not. Oh, have you ever had a, an unstrong, good, that's a bad word, a weak, physically weak, great sprinter? I have. Skinny, but, but elastic, snappy, powerful as hell for the size of their body, but probably bench press like 115. Now, having said that, a lot of sprinters are really naturally strong. Marcellus, one time, was told by his PE teacher that during football season his senior year that you're going to get a D in PE. He goes, what? He goes, you haven't done the bench press one time. Not one time. He put 265 on it, did it eight times. Is, did he do that eight times, 265, because he worked his ass off in the way? No. He was naturally strong. So it's funny when people would see Marcellus, even though he's 5'6", 149, he was ripped. Football coaches would see him kick everybody's ass. You know how a football coach thinks? He'd say, we need to get our kids in the weight room. <laughs> they would see his body, even though he weighed 149, we need to get our, see how ripped, he's jacked, man, he's jacked. They wouldn't see the fact that he's like the fastest human they've ever seen. They would see that it's funny how our lens, depending on who we are and what, yeah. That's why we come to clinics to hear, you know, people, rebel talents, talk shit, you know, that other people don't talk. Uh, replace your warm up with speed. This is actually a thing now. Uh, the 15 minute atomic workout, uh, you can see it on YouTube. I think I'm going to show it here. Yeah. Uh, where we do 10 speed drills in 10 minutes, but you got to do them good. And then you do two time sprints. You cannot do your football team of 50 guys in 15 minutes because it'll take longer to time. But you do it in 25. I, have you ever seen a 40 minute warm up in, in football practice? I have. It was stupid. Like 10 minutes of stretching and then T, I, you know. And, and then stations just so we can be tired as hell before we ever touch a football work on that fourth quarter fatigue intentionally getting kids tired so what feed the cats football teams have started to do and also lacrosse teams and also soccer teams is that they have they've replaced their bs warm-up with the atomic workout atomic means small if you have not read atomic habits by james clear you should read it it should be a semester long course. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I would like to create like a four year, eight semester course, one book per semester. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Life skills. I don't know, something. And it would be the best four year course of study that high school kids would have. Atomic Habits. Uh, I started, uh, after reading the book, I said, I'm going to do 10 push-ups every day this year. Every day. And I'm not going to eat until I do 10 push-ups. So I did 10 push-ups. I'm 63. I, I'm long, skinny arms. I said to myself, I'm glad I said 10 because I don't think I could do 20. Yesterday I did 130. 130 push-ups yesterday. An atomic habit. An atomic habit is something, it, you're going to create a habit by doing something small, but are small things powerful? Is an atom powerful? See, see the way he thinks? It's great too. He, half the book talks about breaking bad habits. Man, if you could break bad habits and start good ones, does that change your life? Why aren't we teaching that in school? 
anyway, atomic workout. <laughs>